Hi YouTube, this is CPDude2, and this is my review of the Wii High Kappa 5.1 Airsoft Gas Blowback Pistol. Um, for those of you who don't want to watch the whole video, um, I'll just say right now it's a great gun. I'd recommend it to anyone looking for a 1911 replica, and um, it's really built rock solid. Um, I've had very few problems with it, and uh, that I definitely recommend it. So I figured I uh, might as well start off with some of the negative aspects of this gun. There's not a whole lot of them, and any of them that there are, I feel are uh, definitely balanced out or uh, exceeded by the positive aspects of the gun. Um, one of the first things I had problems with on this gun was the slide release. Um, same place as it is on most airsoft pistols, and most real steel pistols as well. Um, it's extremely easy to push. I actually had a situation where I was switching to this gun in a CQB situation once I fired and found out that the, pist the magazine had been dropped out of the pistol from um, hitting something in my drop leg holster along the way. So, um, as you can see, it's extremely, I don't even really have to, I mean, it's, it's very easy to release. Not really a big problem, just something to uh, make sure you're conscious of and um, be careful about sometimes. Um, another problem is um, your uh, magazines. They are actually, sometimes they have a little bit of problems uh, feeding the BBs in. Um, I've heard of people taking a pair of needle nose pliers and pinching the uh, head of here to let the BBs flow forward and not backward, which I have had problems with, but I'm, I'm not going to, uh, not, not enough to make it worth ruining a $25 magazine. Um, the hop up adjustment on the gun is actually extremely hard to adjust. I've never been able to do so more than one or two clicks. If you take off the slide, it's a little black wheel inside here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right about here. It's extremely hard to twist. I've never been able to do it more than one or two clicks. Um, not a big, I, big deal as the gun shoots fairly level out of the box already. Um, another problem I had with the gun is the safety. This side here is completely useless. It just flops around. It doesn't work. This side also is very floppy, very sloppy, and um, I'm actually afraid to use it for fear of it breaking off. I normally don't use it as uh, the grip safety is quite enough to keep it safe. Um, the maintenance on this gun is also very high. You got to make sure you keep it lubed just perfectly too much and the BBs won't shoot, not enough, and the BBs won't shoot. Um, you just got to make sure, you got to learn how to work the gun right. Um, it, it's, it takes some getting used to, but it's well worth it. I can't see that, it's my crappy camera, but it's there. Um, it's very nice, I like that. The um, the magazines are high capacity, which is very nice. I haven't had any problems with them leaking. Um, not yet, at least. And actually, I think this is the one that I lost. And uh, I lost it when I said the uh, magazine release left it. And it was actually sitting outside in the rain for a few hours. So it still works just fine. I also, stupid me, managed to drop this gun down the stairs. And um, the only problem it really had is a couple of minor aesthetic scratches. You can see right, uh, right there and right there. That's really the only thing that's happened to it. It's been shooting as good as ever. Um, yeah, it's 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 really a great gun. So, just as a review, uh, WE High Kappa 5.1. Great gun for the price. Um, shoots amazing. It does the job. It's a gorgeous gun. Um, well worth the price of admission on any given night. Uh, buy it. <laughs> Thank, this is uh, CP Dude 2. Thanks for watching.